Okay, it's time for Wine, Music, and Games, episode 38. This time we're heading to Spain for some Rioja. We are then heading to London for the game and then heading back here to the U.S. for an album that was just released for the first time on vinyl. Stay tuned. <laughs> So how you doing, Eddie Bunch? I'm doing good. How you do? I'm doing fantastic. You look great, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, very sweet. Right. Thank you. Okay, so Shell, uh, be oh, before we get started, subscribe, ring the bell, okay? Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. What do you got for wine today? Honey? Well, we have talked about this um, winery before, um, Onero Vera. It's from the Gio family estates, and it's um, from Spain. Yeah. And we tend to like Spanish varietals uh, quite a bit. And this one is one of them that we, we, well, we bought all of the different ones that they had because we really liked their yeah. Viura, their white um, wine. Uh, uh, wine. And we bought like, a, like almost a case of that. Yeah. Uh, but then we wanted to try the other ones. So we bought one of many of the yeah. other wines, Monastrell and um, Garnacha. Yeah. And this one was very good. It's a Rioja. And if you like Riojas, mm -hmm. you like Tempranillos, it's a young Tempranillo. I mean, I think Tempranillos tend to be the best when they are more aged, more aged and more yeah. complex. This is a young one, but mm -hmm. if you'd like a, a light red wine, this one would not disappoint. Definitely. Good stuff from yeah. uh, Onero Vero. Onero Vero. Okay. All right. Our um, music this time is so um, one of my favorite bands from the late 70s into the early 80s is a band that is kind of anomalous for the time period mm. and uh, over time they've really become kind of a band that people turn to and go wow they really knew what they were doing in the studio right. um, and so we've had, had the fortune of being able to see them in concert before one of the two main uh, guys passed away but that is the band Steely Dan and with uh, Record Store Day, this past Record Store Day, Steely Dan's Two Against Nature, which was their comeback album of sorts. And it's funny that, you know, this is the album that they actually won Grammy Awards for, <laughs> even though it's not the one you think of when you think of a Steely Dan mm. album. But this is a really great album still. It has that Steely Dan sound. They, they are, were known for their nitpickiness, for their perfectionism. And um, it comes through in all of this stuff. Walter Becker... Um, and Don Fagan, um, just great musicians, but in a way, kind of like the uh, guy who we talked about a couple of episodes ago, hmm. um, which is Alan Parsons ah. and the Alan Parsons Project, they worked almost as the, the leaders in the studio, right? Mm. So they they knew what they wanted to hear, so they would pull in the best session, session musicians, and they're doing that the same thing with this album. But though, of course, if you go back to Asia and um, mm. uh, you know, just uh, Pretzel Logic and those albums, amazing things. Um, but this one is fantastic too and just came out for the first time on vinyl at Record Store Day in June. So Steely Dan, Two Against Nature. I love this picture too. I this was one that cool. you had to get from Records. It is one I had to get. You had to get this one, yeah. And for our game this time, one of the things that we do over the summer especially, because um, we're kind of in the doldrums in terms of releases, and let's be honest, with COVID, there has been a uh, dearth of releases over this um, past year in some ways, and we didn't get a chance to go to Essen, where we get a lot of the titles mm -hmm. that we then review over the course of the rest yeah, of the year. Yeah. And we tend to do re-reviews. And one of the things that I do when I look for a game to re-review is say, okay, how long has it been since we had played this mm -hmm. one? And you, you record that. Yeah, I record all yeah, the. So, I record all of my plays on right, BGG, so, of course. Yeah. And so um, it had been 14 years. And this is wow. a great game. Oh my gosh, it's, it's so good. It's a great enough game that this game, which was published in 2006, was republished again in 2019. Now we have the original. This was on the underground. Sebastian Bleasdale, who has gone on to work with Richard Breeze mm -hmm. and um, Reiner Knizia and so mm -hmm. on. This was published originally by JKLM Games, a company that's long defunct, and there's quite a history there. But, but we also, love all of JKLM yeah, a lot games. Of their games. Yeah, they're really pretty enjoyed. great. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a, a, some games that we need to go back and re-review. Yeah, we do, we do. Um, but this all that was picked up here in the States by Rio Grande Games, and then uh, Ludo Creations republished the game in 2019 as it actually released multiple maps for it this time. Now, we don't have, uh, I actually haven't even had a chance to kind of do any research and look at those games, those versions of the game. Mm. But this original, 
is great. It's perfect, yeah. It yeah. Really I will never win it. It's great. <laughs> you keep on saying that. I never have won the okay, game. Well, so. I love it anyway. I love it anyway. It's and, still but good. it's a game where, depending upon the number of players, you have a certain number of different little uh, colored track lines. Mm -hmm. And so more players are going to have fewer of those lines. Uh, fewer players are going to have more of those, which is kind of cool because on your turn, you're going to get four actions and you are going to play track or forego doing that and get little uh, markers which give you the ability to break branch. off and branch right. your tracks of particular colors. Mm -hmm. You're going from different stations and then you have a passenger who's going to move about. Or you can connect two different spots that are, you know, the suitcase or the, the wine or whatever the case may be because you want to get, make sure that you have connections between from wine to wine, of course. Yeah, and, and a lot are, of, there's very, there's some, some tracks you might be able to put four. Yeah. The different colors. Some are just one. And, you know, maybe uh, I could even block all of them potentially because I'm playing four colors. He's playing four colors. So, you know, you're, you always have to go off the ends. You can't just start in the, you know, somewhere randomly. When you initially yeah. start, you can start anywhere, yeah. but then you have to build off Yeah, you have to build color. off of that. But you're trying to get to certain stations. Yeah. And there's like four visible at a there time? Are, there are four visible right. um, stations, that, and there are two types. There's the express stations and the normal stations. Right. And on your turn after you have built, you must go to an express station first, if there's one yeah. of the four that are out, and and then a normal station. Right. There are more normal stations. So it's possible you're only going to one at the end of your turn. Right. Right. But you score based on the different lines that they go across. And of course, your passenger is lazy. Super so lazy. he doesn't want to walk at all. So even though maybe, you know, it's right there's like a, here, yeah, it's exactly, next to each stations, other, but there's no connection. He's going to go all the way around by the subway connections or the underground connections. Of course, it's in London. Um, and rather than do that little walk, so you have to be paying attention to those things as well. So really yeah. thoughtful game plays in less than an hour. Yeah, it's and so, really, so much really going on in such yeah. a short amount of time. It is just really awesome to play, trying to make, and the cool thing is when you're moving the, the passenger, it has to be the one that's the closest. Yeah. So you may be giving your other uh, players points. You might be, get you, I might get a point, he might get a point. But I mean, oftentimes you're like, okay, well, I, I can't prevent that, right. but I can work on trying to get some of these other ones to score. Because you know everything's going to be that you're gonna, And you exactly. see a lot of the what's ha going to be available for you. All right. On the Underground, two to five players. JKLM and Rio Grande produced it for the first time. And then Ludo Creations is the one who has just recently um, picked it up and published it. Check it out. Worth doing. All right. Let's recap. So this is a wine by Honero Vera. Gio family estates. It's a Rioja, which means Tempranillo. It's from Spain. And if you like Tempranillo, or if you're unfamiliar with the grape, you should definitely try some Tempranillo and see if it's the style that you would like. It is the Spanish equivalent in many ways of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Different flavor profile, oh, yeah, but different. something that can not be laid heavy. down. Not as heavy, but a, a it pretty can, heavy It can be, yeah, wine, yeah. Yeah, it can be. But definitely yeah. uh, it can be aged for aged a long time. Aged for a time. while, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The music this time, Steely Dan's Two Against Nature. Check out Steely Dan if you don't. It's so good. Oh my yeah, God, it's so, so good. good. So good, so right. good. And finally, got to get the cover there, On the Underground, Sebastian Bleasdale, JKLM Rio Grande, and Luda Creations. Check them out. Good stuff all around. Good music, good wine, good games with an amazing person. Aw, ditto you. to you too. I love you. <laughs> Have a great week, guys. You take care. Bye. Bye.